the Bonsante we were Anthony Bonsante. We were actually we were serious, we weren't joking, but we were we didn't care who won the Bonsante uh, versus Still Dan don't. Bonsante did win, by the way. Yeah. And anyhow this he's is the good news. He's but, wanting to fight John Nutty. Yeah, well bring, bring it on. on. Please. Bring it on. Nutty will knock him out, definitely. Yep. And Definitely, I'll say within like six or seven rounds. Yeah, I would agree with that. I wouldn't be surprised at all in the first couple. But, <laughs> no. uh, Especially with Duddy's aggressiveness coming right out at you. So. But Sunday isn't ready for that. No, well he's not ready for sure anything. So. <laughs> but, uh, help, line them both up. Yeah, same time. night. <laughs> same time. Absolutely, why not? Oh yeah, also, um... I don't know, I'll just throw this out there since I'm remembering it right now. Uh, Travis Sims' brother, Tarvis, brother of Travis. Great nickname. This is his nickname. Tarvis, brother of Travis Sims, uh, is fighting... Your boy, Your Campus. boy Campus. So just fought John Duddy, so yep. mentioning Duddy. So that could be an entertaining fight. Yeah. Uh, Who knows what will happen there. Actually, yeah, that will be shown. That will yeah, be it's shown Friday somewhere. Night Fights. I think it's uh, February 2nd, actually, on Friday Night Fights. Might be interesting. Yep, so take a look at it. Well, yeah, well, Nothing well, else on. So. Also, uh, Giovanni Segura, Segura yeah. fighting February 16th. Tell a future for that one. For those of you that get that channel. Yes. Uh, also, you know. a lot of news. A lot of news. Printers out of ink and everything. Anyhow, with us. Yep. And I have messy handwriting. Forbes versus Hopkins. Yes. Yeah, that's right. The Demetrius Steve, Hopkins. Steve Forbes versus D. Hop yes. D Demetrius Hopkins. Undercard of Barrera Marquez. Great fight there. Big step up for Demetrius Hopkins. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm gonna pick him by decision, but that's a that's a tough one. Although Steve. Forbes definitely is better days are behind him now. Yeah, but still a very good fighter. Still, yeah, still, still uh, top ten fighter easily. Hope uh, Hopkins can pull off an impressive win. He's going to really rise his stock a lot with that kind of win. So yep. Hopefully and, well, he can. Well, the thing, the thing about Forbes, that Forbes is generally a lighter fighter. Yeah, that's true. Than this any uh, This is at 140. Yeah. So, so Forbes used to fight at 130. Hopkins could get a knockout. Won't be, great. be surprised. Be great. But I do kind of expect yeah, a decision. I would go with the decision. Definitely. And also, uh, let's see, the Contender 3 possibly going to have heavyweights. Yeah, thanks. Not, great. not a big surprise there. It's pretty inevitable. And surprise season 2 didn't have heavyweights, actually. I'm surprised season 1 didn't. <laughs> really, I don't... I, I don't hold out any hope for any of the contender winners in the weight classes, so I don't really care. So heavyweights. Where, where are they going to find heavyweights that we haven't, that people haven't tried to find already? Because you know people are searching constantly for the new heavyweight. Yep. The it new, does, the it's still, it heavyweight. still makes sense though, just because, from a marketing standpoint, mm -hmm. it makes perfect sense for non-boxing fans to tune in to for one thing. What what is the thing that everyone talks about that's no mainstream? Matter what. Yeah. It's all about heavyweights. There's not a good heavyweight, which is BS, but whatever. Yeah. The heavyweight division is in peril. Yeah, it's not that great. But it's well, the winner of the contender isn't gonna help. So. <laughs> nope. I mean, where are they gonna get they'll get let's see, they'll get like maybe Calvin Brock. That'd be like yeah, their biggest that'd star. That'd be huge if they did that. I'd be they, shocked. If that happened, <laughs> you'll get Ty Fields. Uh, that'll be about the level of. I doubt that Pat Vitkin would even agree to go on it. Actually, no. he's uh, he doesn't need it. Um, there's so I mean, yeah, that's another. Gerald Nobles will be on it. Cedric Kushner might as well host that contender. Yeah, it'll be his fighters basically. His the level fighters. Mo Harris. Mo <laughs> Mo Harris. Um, um, what are some of these other horrible guys? Sissy Salif or yeah, whatever? Yeah, definitely. Sissy, yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Fits perfectly. Absolutely. Um, that Sinan Sam? Sinan Samil Sam, yeah. Timur Brigamov, the brother of the other one, Sultan. 
He can join. Yeah, all Jim. of them. So it's sounding real great, isn't it? The list of prospects. Yeah. And uh, I mean, who, yeah, where are they going to bring these guys? If they don't get these guys we're naming, they're going to get worse. Or same level. Jamil McLean. Um, uh, we'll get, yeah. Oh yeah, he's back to Mount now. Oh uh, yeah, and we get to see McLean say he's dedicated again. And we get to see all these guys crying. And uh -huh. That'll be great. Grant Moore, throw them in. Why not? <laughs> McCall. <laughs> Judah can come in for shits and giggles. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, please put Judah in. Oh, list. please. <laughs> we'll beat them all. Anyhow, uh, that contender are three heavyweights. Watch for it. Or don't. <laughs> yeah. Bundridge could win the whole thing. K9. Anyhow, yeah. uh, um, also some other results. We, we had mentioned this fight. Uh, reporting on it, Eccles and Ruben Williams battled it out to a draw. Rematch. Who cares? Yeah. And, uh, also, Ronald Hearns, and the interesting news, Ronald Hearns got a first-round knockout against an opponent that took a dive. Ronald Hearns, Hearns was very upset about this. I believe this was in Detroit. Yeah. This was in his hometown, yeah. the Bella fight, and the guy took a dive. Uh, Hearns is quoted as saying, I hit him with nothing. I didn't feel the punch in my hand. He was very mad that his time was wasted in this fight. For me. Preparing for, for it, training for it. So. And showing up for it. Yeah, it's, period. I mean, so, I mean, so now he's 12-0 and 0 with a tainted win. Yeah. He didn't even want the guy to die. So it's ridiculous. Well, that guy should be banned from boxing. He wanted to legitimately knock him out. They ought anyone, to put him, anyone that dives should yeah. be banned from boxing. They ought to put him in a ring with Hearns as punishment and make him fight him. So. Yeah. Let's tie him up and make him uh, stay up. Yeah. And he, uh, also... Elio Rojas, uh, undefeated prospect, 18 and 0, 13 knockouts. 13 knockouts fight Mark second as well. Yeah, good. absolutely. Uh, so that's going to be uh, a loaded. Can't weekend. remember what weight that guy's at. Seems like bantamweight or something like that. Loaded weekend there though. Yeah, definitely. Huge, huge weekend. Especially if Casemiro Diaz is added to that also on Showtime. So. Yep, so Already you got Cotto and Margarito fighting separate bouts, along with the March 2nd Nate Campbell fight, along with the Showbox card. So. Yeah, just some really good things coming up. Looking yeah. really forward to it. Looking forward to taking this show to the next level. And for those of you that don't know, I have started a blog um, for this site for whenever... Whenever I'm around a computer and want to throw out some of my thoughts on there, we might get you one set up yeah. too at some point. And either throw thoughts about boxing or past fights, the show, or coming fights, what, what's whatever. happening with the show. Um, if there's times where we go a couple weeks without having one for whatever reason, update you, update the fans, let you know what's going on, let you know that we're not <laughs> gone, mm -hmm. we're not going away. Thank you for all the emails, all the support, all the people asking where the hell you are. We're back. Where, where the hell we are, we're here. Yeah. We, we where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're getting tons of emails, that's for sure. Yeah, that's good. Um, sorry to anyone that we don't get around to answering. We will answer everyone eventually. You know, just maybe not on the show. We're not doing a mailbag today because of the printer. And we'd like to get your questions down very accurately. I mean, I edit them for content, but yeah. for get purpose, the I get the main question yeah. down, but didn't do that today, so we'll mailbag's coming time. real soon. Rocky, uh, Rocky Balboa show coming real soon. That We're just basically waiting for that to... Yeah, for everybody to see it, that's going to gonna see it right now, at least. So. Yeah, and the movie does get released in other countries yeah. late. So, well, sorry. And, and we're watched don't, worldwide, so don't we gotta watch, wait. Yeah, don't don't uh, watch our that show. If you watch that show, you're a moron. If you didn't see Rocky Balboa yeah. already, <laughs> that's your fault. Yes. So it will be a spoiler show, and if I will. You haven't seen it. I will have many things to say about the movie. He'll be here. I'll be here. The guy that oh, was yeah, yeah. the guy that was on the other episodes will be there as well. And we also have to work our schedules out on that. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Boxing for Real at gmail.com. See ya.